Another useful example of the flexibility that visual scripting adds to Geomagic Control X is the ability to connect to the automation server and Python for even more control over automated tasks. I have an example that shows both connections here in Control X 2023. I'll start with some changes that we've made to the automation server. As usual, I've got a four folder structure containing my automation server directories for the communication files, the monitoring folder where incoming data to be inspected gets saved, the output folder where the inspection results are saved to after analysis, the template folder containing pre-planned inspection files and or visual scripts, and the ID rule that matches new 3D scans to the correct CX project file or script. If we look at the ID rule CSV file, we can see that the template here is not a control X proj file, but a visual script that will run when any STL file is saved to the monitoring folder. This is a new option in control X 2023. Previously, the automation server could only run CX project inspection programs. The asterisks here allow any file path with .stl in it to be sent to the visual script, but we could also set this up with other wildcards to run different visual scripts instead of just the one here. I'm running the automation server in single source mode as my input data are all individual STLs and we're not doing any scan processing with this script. I'm using the TCP IP localhost connection protocol and all of the folders that I mentioned earlier are already set up. A new option in 2023 is giving the automation server the ability to delete old scan data from the communication folder where it gets moved to after analysis after a certain number of days. I'm not actually using any of the standard control X reporting options, so I'll leave all of these checkboxes here empty and start the server. I'll bring up the client, same TCP IP, check the control X license and connect. Looking at the visual script, we're going to have it start with the new automation tools input from automation clients template that sends new file paths to a for each loop that iterates through each file and imports it into a new document and queries the mesh properties for that file. In this case, the property that we're after is the volume of the mesh, which is sent along with the mesh name to this command file. This is how we're going to run an external Python script from control X's visual scripting tool. So this file is basically the same as running any Python file from the command line, except these percentage marks here are what link to the parameter outputs from the visual script. Python is now included with the control X installer, so you can use the executable file path in the install directory. If I open up the Python file linked here, you can see that we're taking the file name and volume output from the visual script and appending them to a text file that will be created here if it doesn't already exist. To put all that in perspective, it works like this. The automation server watches the monitoring folder for new STLs. When one is moved or saved there, it recognizes that since it's an STL file, based on the ID rule, it needs to go to the visual script. The visual script picks up the file, does its thing, and sends the file name and measured volume to Python, which writes or appends it to the text file. Since I already have the server and client running, I can bring up File Explorer and move one of my STL files to the monitoring folder where it runs through that process, and I eventually get a new text file here at the output folder. Now, if I add two more files to the monitoring folder, the visual script will run on each of these in succession and write two new lines to the text file. We're really proud of the work that went into making Control X 2023 more powerful, more flexible, and more open than ever before. Why don't you give it a look and let us know how we're doing? If you're not an existing Control X user, or if you're on an older version of the software and want to see what we've been up to lately, reach out and we'll get you a trial. I'll upload these files to the script repository so you can use them in your automation workflows. Thanks for watching.